How's it going everyone? My name is Theron, and welcome back to another Fine Broom Heroes summoning session. Today we have the new Mythic Oter banner, which... I mean, despite what happened in our most recent chapter of Book 5, he, this is honestly a big surprise for me. He may have died off, but... Hey, I guess that won't stop them from adding him to the game. So without further ado, let's get summoning. Now, game plan for this, obviously go green, new mythic and everything. And I also wouldn't mind a uh, legendary Byla. I still need him. I thought that would have been somebody. Uh, but obviously if I don't have any greens, I will also be pulling blue and colorless. Uh, blue because I still need some good IVs on Zeke. He's still minus attack for me, which... Yeah, not good. I also wouldn't mind Marianne or Krom. I really do like them. And then for colorless, I mean, Claude and Shinon. Obviously, you gotta get the boys. And, I mean, Leaf is there. He is pretty useful, I've actually found, in a, a Mjolnir Strike as, like, the main offense unit. He's actually really good in that game mode. It Just base kit-wise. So, if I mean, if we get him, you know, that won't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, but I will be skipping red. I mean, Pala and Altena with the uh, dual phase brave weapon, they are really good. I won't... I will not say anything bad about them. But, yeah... I mean, red just feels like a pretty decent skip. The units are still good, but... Eh, not today. Not today. Oh my god, that's a lot of greens. Uh, one thing I do want to go over before, you know, my unit notes and Q&A. Uh, recently, where I live, we're having some internet troubles. It's, it's fluctuating between, you know, being helpful and not helpful. So, uh, if I accidentally go a few days without, you know, a video, just know it's our internet, we're trying to get it fixed as fast as possible, and we are working on it, but apparently we can't get a new modem until December, so uh, until then, please be patient, we are working on it, but it, it's a slow process. Ah, more three stars. Python, didn't you just show up? I thought you like don't I thought you don't like doing work. Seriously, if he's the lazy kind, why does he show up twice? Ah oh, well. Ooh! That's a Celica! Awesome! Like I said, I wouldn't mind a Celica. She is really fun to use. Eh, I've already got you at plus speed, so this is fine. Could this be one of the boys? Nope, three star. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, let's get on with my unit notes for Oter. And, I mean, you know, him being an offensive tank cav... Not surprising. He is. He. I think he's a little bit more bulky than Reagan. I haven't. I haven't really compared their IVs. But he just feels like a bit more of a offensive tank than you know before. Uh, main weapon, and I am going to butcher this probably. Uh, Otto Lofhedmir. I don't speak Norse, so I doubt that's the actual name for it. But anyway, his weapon, you know, built in Kanto, exact same as Reagan, where it only works for a certain number of turns. I actually really like that they did that. I actually really like that, because, I mean, they get full move after they attack or do anything. That That's a bit broken, so I really do appreciate that uh, balancing that they did. That's the word I was looking for. God. Uh, my brain's all over the place today. 
And of course, the uh, debuff opponent's attack boosts his own attack. That's actually pretty surprising, but... I mean, he is a, a I guess, all-up-in-your-face kind of person. Like... Actually, I think I might be getting his personality wrong. I don't know what my brain is saying today. It, I am very tired. Things have been going completely crazy here, but... It, you get the idea. And then, of course, Brutal Shell, same starting effect as Reagan, but with a built-in Luna effect instead of adaptive damage. Pretty good. I'd say he's a pretty good unit. Uh, not one of my favorites so far, just because, well, of how he treated Reagan. Let's be honest. That, that was a bit cruel. At least in... Yeah, no, that was actually cruel, now that I think about it. He may have saved her life, but... God, just everything he said at the end of... Towards the end of his arc, that was just... That was just heartless, really. My brain is so scattered today. It... I want to say I should just scrap this video, but... Eh, what the hell. I'm already a couple orbs in. I might as well just finish it out, right? Ooh, more three stars. And it's chicken. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's move on to the uh, Q&A questions, or question, I guess. And again, little reminder, if you guys ever want to ask a question for me, hey Balthus, just leave your question in the comments section, and, you know, if you want to, you can also like put hashtag uh, Q&A or hashtag question, just so I can find it easier. If you want to start doing that, that could, again, that's totally your choice. I'm not saying you have to. Just, if you ever want to specify what the question is, or which one it is, just let me know and I'll find it. Uh, anyway, today's you know, still only one question, but I don't mind. Comes from one and only Curly Fry, and they ask, Booktube is getting a lot of attention recently from Faye, so what other books would you like to see Tempest Trial Pluses for, or Heroes from? Gonna have to pause on that uh, lucky question because Byleth is here. Finally, holy crap! T took you long enough. Hey, those are pretty good IVs in my book. Uh, yeah, might as well go for the blue. Couldn't hurt. But anyway, back to your uh, lucky question, Curly Fry. Uh, so far the list only consists of two. One. I highly doubt he could make it into the game, and that is, uh, Freyr. Like, normal Freyr. I know we have Summer Freyr, but, like, his his story was so short-lived in Book 4. Like, he was around for two, maybe three chapters, and then just died off because of, well, us. It, I'd really like to see more from him, you know what his base kit could have been, and everything else. Uh, but obviously, like, we're already in Book 5, so... I highly doubt we're going to see him again. Unless it's, you know, another seasonal alt. But the other unit I think we could potentially see a Tempest Trials for would be Bruno slash Zacharias. Because remember, he was around only for the first book, left to do something, shows up at the end of book two, just because Veronica's in trouble, leaves, and then he shows up in book five because he needs our help. What have you been doing, dude? Come on, we need some questions answered. I'd, I'd very much like to see... Okay, that is Harden. I know that imposing silhouette anywhere. Hi. All right, then. So that happened. 
Eh. Not, not too terrible, Ivy's, but... Uh, I don't know, is he any good now? I know he has a refine, but... Like, is he any decent after that? Because, like, I remember he was, like, the best... Or one of the best Fallen units. And then along came another armor unit, and he just got completely sidelined. So I'd, I'd like to know. Uh, anyway, back to the what I was saying before with Bruno Zacharias. Like, there's a lot of material that we could get for a Tempest Trials conversation based off of what he's been doing. That is a brave Ike. What the hell is going on with my 4-star special raid? Alright, welcome. Not the best IVs. But hey, I'll take it. it. Steady Breath is really good. Also, he has Aether. That can also be helpful. And Barst, okay. And if, anyway, if I can get back to what I was saying before this game decides to go crazy on me, it, they could definitely do a whole conversation of, like, what Bruno and Zacharias have been up to during their, I think, travels to find out what's wrong with their blood or something. I've honestly forgotten what his reason for leaving was, but, I mean, we got something to work with with him. And also, I would much prefer an ult of him that isn't in a bunny suit. Dear God, why'd they have to do that? Uh, I feel like that's one of the most cursed images you could ever see. But it's also one of the funniest. Right, uh, yeah, obviously, only one question, but I'm not going to complain. It happens. Hey, the fear. Ugh. Eight and a half, and... Yeah, I might as well go until I get you know, an actual five-star focus. I think after that, I'll call it quits. Just give me the greens. That'll do. Oh. That's that from my mom, sorry. Like I said, internet troubles. But I think it was good news, so I'll have to look back on that. Oh! And we got Byla! Again! Awesome. <laughs> and ooh, plus speed. Ooh. That I will actually take. Alright, uh... Yeah, I might as well finish out the circle. Oh, that's something I was gonna say. Uh, quickly, before this video ends, if you guys remember that old, um, Legendary Hero chart, not the one with pair-ups, like the original, original. Like, just food for thought right now, do you guys actually think we might see heroes like the last two heroes we need on that chart. Because if you remember, or if you don't remember, the last hero added to there was, unironically, Legendary Azura. My what? My best girl. Best girl. Always. But then we got Legendary Roy, who then introduced Pair Up. So I just want to throw this out there. Do you guys think we'll actually complete the old chart or has Intelligent Systems just completely forgot about that? Personally, I think they've forgotten about it, but I still hold out hope that they might bring it back, you know? It's like, those were some of the fun units, and I have nothing against Pair Up. It's just, I tend to forget it exists, and I never use it. So I'd really like to see them go back to the old Legendary Hero list and, you know, like, again, nothing against pair-up, 
it's just one of the most forgetful things in this game, you know? Anyway, enough of my quick rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you did summon on Spanner, let me know who you got down below. I always love seeing your results. Uh, and if you haven't summoned on the Spanner, I wish you all the luck in the world. But with that, I'm Theron, saying I'll see you next time. So until then, farewell, and game on.